The details about this crash and how it happened are still developing. But we do know that it happened at the height of rush hour this morning as the student killed was heading to school. WJZ is live outside Baltimore County Police Headquarters. Rachel Carden with how a freak accident led to this tragedy. Rachel. Vic Denise, that student was 17-year-old Kayla Perry. Now, Baltimore County investigators say they do think weather caused her to lose control of her car and collide with a guardrail, but they say that collision is not what ultimately led to her tragic death. As cars buzz past this section of North Charles Street, they pass bits of a car and a broken utility pole on the side of the road where a 17-year-old was killed around 7.15 this morning. Police say Kayla Perry was driving this car on her way to school at George Washington Carver Center when she lost control and crashed, breaking a utility pole. Police say when she got out of the car, she was hit by power lines. A box truck that was traveling southbound on Charles Street struck the wires and dragged the wires with it as it continued to travel. Those, those wires struck two additional vehicles, and as she was standing outside of her vehicle, the wires also struck her and threw her onto a grassy median area. In the grass area, you can actually see the path the car took as it came across the driveway of Loyola High School, hitting this sign and eventually ending up on this guardrail. The vehicle stayed on the guardrail. She got out of the vehicle to assess the damage, and she was not injured by all indications at that time. Police say weather was a factor in the crash and two other cars were damaged by the down power lines. Those vehicles suffered damage. One of those drivers suffered minor injuries during the collision and was transported to an area hospital. No one else uh, advised that they suffered any injuries. A section of the road remained closed until 11 a.m. as police cleared the area and investigated. The driver of the box truck will not be charged as police do not believe he saw the lines and definitely didn't have time to react. It's a tragic story. Police advise drivers to stay in your car until help arrives if you get into a crash. Baltimore County Schools released a statement this afternoon saying, in part, we are heartbroken over the tragic loss of one of our students. We'll do all we can to support the students and staff who knew Kayla during this difficult time. They go on in that statement to say they'll have grief counselors at the George Washington Carver Center School throughout the day tomorrow. They're advising parents to talk to their kids about what happened. We're live outside of Baltimore County Police Headquarters. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.